Hi, welcome back. So usually I review bobbleheads, but I posted a picture of my pin collection on Facebook uh, a couple months ago, and I, get, I drew a lot of attention and actually a lot of comments about uh, what is my pin collection, what does it look like. They wanted a better view of it. So uh, I've, I've been collecting pins uh, even before I started collecting bobbleheads. I probably have about 300 of them in my display case. I found this on eBay. Uh, it's made of a, a nice real wood, uh, stained red, and yes, my, my walls are orange, by the way, it just, you don't have to understand why, uh, but uh, it's a glass wood display case with a latch, and I hang it on my wall, and I, I probably have, I don't remember, a, a lot of, a lot of pins, and it's a nice way of displaying things, so I'll just go through it quickly. I don't know if this is really in focus, but you can get an idea of how many Bobble, how many pins I have and the kinds are out there. I think some of you will recognize the uh, Barry Bonds home run pins. I was there. Yeah, I was I was totally there for a lot of these. Um, Candlestick Park, uh, Bill Swift pin, Lucille pin. I pick one up at every opening day that I go to. Uh, recently, they've had these pins with individual players. So this year, the new ones at the ballpark are. Uh, I think you can tell. Buster Posey, Linscum, Kane, there's a new vocal song pins out there. Uh, as well, as I, I, I spent a lot of time following Barry Bonds around, so there was a lot of Barry Bonds pins. Uh, oddly enough, he didn't hit, I think, 762 on the road, so while there is a 762 pin that exists, uh, that wasn't distributed. I think, you, I think it's one of those rare things that you find on eBay. Uh, and so a couple of them are out there. Um, World Series pins. Oh, my favorite pin for a long time was the error pin that I got off a buddy of mine. This is the, uh, I think we can tell here. It says uh, 2002 World Champion Giants. <laughs> that was kind of this uh, interesting thing that we found. Uh, it was a nice little gift because you knew I was bitter about that for a very long time until, you know, we were actually able to win uh, the 2010 World Series. But uh, basically, it's it's a nice little collection. I've always been an advocate that if you have a collection of something, you have to display it. Otherwise, it just makes a mess. It's hard to justify having that much stuff and you're not going to be able to really enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it, it it just has a nice feel to it. You know, you, you go home and you look down the hall and there's this nice thing out there and everyone comes over and a lot of people just like to hang out my in my in my hallway and just stare at my collection because this, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, it's a cheap, simple way of uh, preserving your memories of going to the ballpark and uh, rooting for the Giants. And, uh, yeah, I found this thing on eBay. Uh, I forgot what I paid for it, but it was like, uh, maybe like six years ago. I'm um, still, so if you look for a glass uh, wood pin display case uh, on Google or wherever, you'll find a ton of them out there. And a lot of it is just sizing it out to the right shape and size. And, um, you know, just leaving room for the growth of your collection so that you have some room. Like, I have room over there for future growth. I think a couple of years ago, I think this thing was like just half filled. But, you know, winning the World Series, <laughs> that kind of filled up a good chunk of it as well as uh, Barry Bonds going crazy. Uh, that kind of filled out a good chunk of it as well. But, uh, so, leave a little bit of room, kind of anticipate your growth for pins. And uh, if you're going to get into a lot of pins, you know, it's okay. It's kind of cool. Uh, something to do with your spouse, your kid, and uh, just to have something that you can do whenever uh, you go to the ballpark and something cool. Just buy a pin, add it to the collection. And uh, definitely display it. As I like to say, if you don't display your things, you don't have a collection. You have a warehouse. And it's just a mess when you do. In any case, thanks for watching. Go Giants. So in case Bye. anyone's wondering what's on the other side of that reflection off my glass display case, it's the uh, old giveaway from Candlestick. This is a Leroy Neiman poster of Willie Mays uh, doing his thing. I also have the... Uh, pairing of it. This is one of my favorite paintings in the whole wide world. It's also Leroy Neiman uh, photograph, I guess, painting of uh, Juan Marichal. I don't know where he's pitching it, but these are my two favorite posters in the whole wide world and they decorate the uh, my hallway. And it's, it's always a nice conversation piece. It leads uh, to my uh, bobblehead collection in the other room, so it's a nice little conversation piece. And uh, people definitely know, you come to my house, Oh yeah, Giants fan lives here. <laughs>
any case, thanks for watching. Go Giants. Again.